Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. Right now I'm sitting here with my windows wide open and hearing the birds, so if you hear birds on the video, um, they are so happy outside right now and I didn't want to close the window. But anyways, this video is all about wicking and I'm going to share with you all the candle wicks that I currently use and why I use them and why I keep on purchasing them over and over again um, and if you are new consider subscribing um, I'm always publishing fun content about sharing the joy of candle making and all about candle businesses and my personal journey with my candle business um, but anyways let's get right into today's video and thank you so much for watching So my absolute favorite wicks um, for my wooden wicks, and I use these on my, um, I think these are the three inch diameter jars. Um, and this is how um, I wick pretty much all of these. Sometimes I'll size it down depending on the fragrance, but these are the Crackling Booster Wicks. And I would recommend if you work with a natural wax blend, um, where you're using like dense vegetable waxes or beeswax or soy uh, to go with the booster wick series if you're able to um, they have um, let me try to show you one of them if i can grab one really quick here um actually you know what i think i can just show you on one of these candles let me see <gasps> okay let me just Yeah, so I actually, I need to trim this wick because it's too long, but if you can see how there's that little center portion, um, that is like a little bit of an extra um, piece of wood that is put on there. Um, and it just really helps with those more dense waxes to be able to keep your candle burning. Um, before I found the Crackling Booster Wicks, I often use just the single um, ply wicks and they did not stay lit very well with my candles. Um, and I have found for me personally that the 0.04 series is the cleanest burning. Um, I have worked a lot with the 0.03 series um, with my beeswax soy and cocoa cream uh, wax blend that I'll link above. Um, so you can watch that video if you're interested in trying it out. But um, those to me produced a lot of soot. Um, so I use the 0.625 diameter and I do get the five inch long ones and then I cut the wicks and save as much as I can uh, to use like for fire starters or for my tins uh, sometimes. So I would recommend getting the longer ones because you can always save, um, save the extra and use it for something else and they don't cost that much more. Um, and then these are the exact same thing. So they're the 0 0.04 series and I do get the ones that have the higher crackling level, but if you don't like the crackling, they do have what they call whisper wicks. Um, and these are the 0.5 inch again, and then they're the 0.5 um, width. So they're just a little bit smaller um, width and I use these in my tins. Let me grab one so you can see what those are like. Um, so, um, this tin needs to be, I need to do some work with the heat gun here, but they're just a little bit smaller. And even though these tins actually have the same diameter as the, um, jars, the tall, the larger jars, um, that I showed, they actually burn at a little bit higher of a temperature and I would attribute that to the increased conductivity of the um, tin material. So they just burn a little bit hotter already so I find that wicking down one size does tend to work better um, for my tins. And um, again those I do also make with my beeswax, soy, and cocoa cream wax blend um, that I have linked for you. Um, earlier in the video and then these are the CD 12 wicks so I for my 100% soy candles 
um, will use the CD series and I get mine from either Candle Science or the Flaming Candle just depending on who I'm placing an order with um, and I don't buy them from too many other companies because I know um, I love 1617 but I know that they do coat theirs in like paraffin and I don't like to use paraffin in my candle line at all um, so I don't buy my CD Wick series from them um, and I do know that Candle Science and the Flaming Candle, I don't think use any paraffin in these. So definitely, um, who I purchased mine from. The CD Wick series is a flat breeded cotton wick and it has paper threads that are woven into the cotton. And the construction of the wick is uh, designed to ensure a consistent burn with higher fragrance loads. And especially when you're dealing with natural waxes like soy that it's harder to get a good scent throw from. Um, it is especially um, good in design for those types of waxes. And I would also say like apricot cream and maybe even beeswax, although I haven't tried it with beeswax myself. So the CD14 um, work perfectly in my 464 candles and these are the ones made with 100% soy. Um, and I get my 464 from the flaming candle because um, they have the best shipping to my area. But um, this is my Earth Angel candle. Um, this is Oak Moss and Amber by Candle Science. And then my Golden Girls is Mango and Coconut Milk. Um, and I use that CD16 on all of my 464. Or sorry, the CD14, not 16. Um, I use the CD14 on all of my 464 candles in these um, tins. And these are the 8 ounce um, tins and these are uh, three about three inches diameter and I get these tins from Aztec um, for me um, they are the most careful with their shipping I used to get them from the flaming candle but I did run into a lot of issues with um, just um, a lot of damage um, I don't know what it was but Aztec um, they usually package them like a box within a box so I find that I usually run into much less damage um, ordering those from Aztec and the very last wicks that I use um, are the CD12s. And these I use on um, my candles that I make for the De Chambrely Clinic. And these I actually use with my Luxury Beeswax Soy and Cocoa Cream um, blend, but in the non wood wick. So I find that that blend burns just a little bit hotter than my. Um, regular 464 and so I make those with um, the CD um, I don't have one of them but they are in these tins and I make them with the CD 12 series um, in the tins with my beeswax soy and cocoa cream um, wax blend oh and the last thing I wanted to mention as well um, is I when you use the wood wicks um, you do always have to get these clips and um, I get all my Wooden Wick materials now from the Wooden Wick Co., which has now changed their business name to Makesy. And um, they have the patent on the Wooden Wicks. Basically, all the other companies are buying their Wooden Wicks from Makesy. And um, so to me, I would rather just buy them directly from the source rather than from other companies. But you can of course do whatever you want as far as who you purchase from. Well, that is all for today's video. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, and in the description box, I have also attached uh, links to the Wooden Wick Co. is what the former name was. And I think now they're calling their company Makesy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but I've attached their wicking guide as well as Candle Science's wicking guide. Um, and those are two resources that I think every candle maker um, should know about. Um, I have also heard Jeff Stanley talking about Lone Star's um, candle wicking guide. So I will also attach that one too. But I personally have not ordered from Lone Star. Um, so, but I will also attach their wicking guide if I'm able to find it. And thank you again so much for watching and happy candle making.